The New England Patriots traded Sony Michelle, the running back, to the Los Angeles Rams uh, in exchange for a fifth-round draft pick. It was, it was a, a late-round pick. Could be up to a fourth, dep depending on his amount of time, and then a conditional second pick as well. And it sounds very, mm, I wouldn't say nondescript, but it's one of those trades where you had a player that underperformed in New England, and they're going to look to get rid of him to send him somewhere else where he might be a better fit. And as we've seen with the Patriots over the years, it has always been about sharing the backfield with a few different runners. But there's one part of this that's particularly interesting to me, and it's the fact that he's going to the Rams. Now, if you look at Sony Michel's career, he has never really been somebody that put up a lot of big numbers in the passing game. But if you look at last week, in his last preseason game, granted, he had two of his three years where he had single-digit catches, but he had four catches last week in a preseason game for 37 yards. You're know, like, Chris, what? That's like nothing. That's nondescript. Not in this case. Because look at the offense that Sony Michelle is going to. The Rams are a team, as we know, that we're looking to maximize Cam Akers in the pass game as well as the run game. Now, Daryl Henderson looks like somebody that can be explosive and can fill that role pretty well. But was this a move for depth? Was this a move for motivation? For Daryl Henderson, maybe Henderson, after the injury, got a little bit more comfortable in being the starting role, uh, the starting running back, or is it just all of the above? You know, Bill Belichick is very, he's close with Sean McVay. Everything that he does has a reason. And when I see Sonny Michel, who has those two seasons with single-digit total catches, catch four balls in one game, and then get traded to an offense that wants to really feature a running back in a passing role, it makes me think that Belichick almost did it for McVay so he could get a look at him on tape in a game. Oh, yeah, he can catch the ball. He can do a few different things there. I would not be shocked. I mean, look at what they did with Jimmy G, trading him to the San Francisco 49ers a couple of years ago. To me, this can really help the Rams who need that, I don't want to say premier back, but the guy who is a certifiable weapon that other teams have to account for. Matthew Stafford is going to light it up this season. Matthew Stafford is going to be an MVP candidate this season. I have virtually no question about that. He could throw for 5,500 yards this year. He might throw for 6,000. I know it's crazy. There's 17 games. Don't forget. But he could throw for 5,500 yards this season. And adding a player like that, I'm not going to sit here and tell you to drop uh, Daryl Henderson and you're going to now draft Sony Michelle in the second round of all your fantasy drafts. No, 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 no. What I would say is monitor that situation because that to me is very, very interesting. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN Plus.